Well, I'm finally done with my, uh, my, uh, off-screen farming, and yet, despite that, I somehow still don't have, uh, the waypoint to the frozen tundra. Uh, also, I should point out this. I know people on the forum have already pointed this out, but, uh, once we see a, uh, once we see a minotaur here... Yeah, flying polar buffalo error. Now, I know that appeared randomly in XVI, but, uh... I don't think it appeared that frequently, and it certainly wasn't nearly as replicatable as it is here in, uh, 2017 1.1. So, anyway... Uh, like I said at the end of last segment, uh... Yeah, I like how I have 78,000 defense already. That's more than the Lazy Den had in its uh, entirety. But at any rate, like I said, in this segment, we will be... I'll, I will be finishing off Bale and uh, moving on to uh, Destruction... Or not Destruction, Terror difficulty. So, what do I talk about? My problem is, I always, I, I'm not exactly the best commentator. I mean, I'm good enough at explaining how things work, I think, but in terms of finding things to talk about to be entertaining, I'm not the best at that, unfortunately. So, catapults, you're done. How much plague damage do I do now? Yeah, that much over... how many seconds? That many. I think from here on I'm gonna actually stop investing hard points and retaliate for right now and focus on, a uh, Dragonheart. Just for more defense. And also that grants me more physical damage too. So, alright, let's see, where might that waypoint be? Oh yeah, the Icy Cellar's back, because I know for a fact that, um, it used to be the Icy Cellar, and an old man, an old boss, Bill Isle, has been moved. I forget where, but I believe it's somewhere in the Tengazi jungles. Or, I mean, uh, Torojan jungles, I'm sorry. So... So, I will, we will be exploring the Tarojan jungles in a later segment. Like, once I get to Act 5 on Destruction and have at least most, if not all, mid-game items selected, I'll check that out. So, I mean, we do have to, because we always, every time I play a character... Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, and it's... Oh, it's exactly the fucking same. Is it not? Yeah, it, it's the same. Also, I like how I can actually do this. I assume that, um... Belial is a static, uh... A static appearance, meaning that he won't just appear randomly. But, uh, I actually thought the Icy Cellar came- or not the Icy Cellar, I- Actually, no, wait, yeah, that's what it was called in, uh, the Vanilla D2. It's just that it was- I thought it was back to its original format. Whatever. You guys are all fucked. Oops. Well, I can tell you how this is gonna work. Coliseum Divine Judgment. Yep. Yeah, that... Now, I know Divine Judgment is supposed to be good against single targets, but... Jesus Christ. Uh, oh. Oh, I do have that maxed. Okay, so... I am still gonna max Plague. 
even if it is worthless against physical, or not physical, fi um, poison immunes, I'm still gonna roll with it. Now, I'm gonna ch actually try to not, uh, I'm gonna try to not just spam Divine Judgment on Bale's face and, uh, actually examine the fight, because the Bale fight's been changed significantly, from what I understand. I've not actually tried this in the, uh, when I was looking at stuff at the throwing bar, but I didn't actually look at Bale, which I probably should have. But, we'll get to see that in action here, so it's not really a big deal. Now, I know he has his, uh, Inferno thing from the Vanilla D2, the one that would drain all of a character's mana instantly. Um, I know he has that, again. Apparently, he has some incredible summons. Along with a warning in the, um, um, the patch files. Or the, the Uber log, whatever. On the forum, when you look at the guides. And this is back to the way it was in the vanilla D2, which I kind of dislike, but at the same time, I'm glad it's at least quicker to get to Bale instead of being, like, the sometimes the ordeal that it could be in XVI and uh, twice 1.0. All right, so... Let's see. First batch of minions. Come on, Bale. You got nothing on me. I will smite you down somehow. And... I will smite down these guys. I want to get this... I want to get that lightning sound to stop. Okay, good. And... Alright, there we go. That's better. And you're dead. Oh. What are you doing here? Oh, okay. I thought I killed everything. That's one of the disadvantages of having a cold fear on proc. And Infernal Contraption is instantly dead. Well. Let's see. Let's see what was changed. Come on. Alright. Okay, he has that back. What is that black... Th Whoa. Black thing. I think the guides... Or the... Yeah? Okay, so it looks like he has most of his original vanilla D2 powers. But, uh... Apparently he has summons. Oops. Yeah, I just kind of cheesed that fight. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of already did that. Now, I wonder what Dark Summoning would do here. And believe me, I will be using Dark Summoning in every uh, area that used to contain summoning Ubers, but no longer do. So, that'll be interesting to see, I guess. I know some of, a, a number of summoning Ubers do still exist, like Judgment Day. And I do plan to do Judgment Day with this build. I don't quite know how I would do it with this build, but I do plan to do it. And I'm gonna see here if, um... Okay, I'm gonna actually pick up some perfect gems to socket because I need to get my uh, 
I need to get my resists up. I need to get my, uh, my resistances going rock hard instead of soft and small again. And interpret that phrasing however you want. But, um... Getting back to serious business here. I'm glad that nothing seems to have revived yet. However, I'm gonna go to this unexplored inch of map. Oh, good thing I did, too. And Slarity proc. And let's see here. Quillbear, are you gonna die? Yeah, you're gonna die. And you're so done. I kind of wish this area would be uh, reduced in size just to make it easier to complete this crap. And hello, Prince Albrecht. Apparently, Bale has summons, by the way. I don't... I know I've mentioned that, but... I've heard some people say they're like Marco Necro X 2.0. Uh, I don't know if I should believe that, but... I have heard that they're quite strong. And... Let's see, did I get rid of everything? Yes, I did. Okay, except for that Dark Templar, but that's my own reanimate, so I don't care. Oh, two monsters. Where could you be? Well, there's one. Oh, boy. Here we go. Trying to find the last monster. It's guaranteed it's some dipshit that revived uh, Fallen. Right? Like, that that has to be what it is. That's always what it is with uh, the Den of Evil. I wish the game could, like, know that I've already killed it and not make me have to hunt it down again. Oh, no, no, it's a skeleton. Well, it's dead now. Okay, uh, one more in Rapture. I wonder if it, I wonder if I could use a Hand of God reasonably well at this point. Like, I, okay, I realize I forgot to map reveal. And I'm not gonna go into all the optional caverns again. Um, at least not yet. So Would that yes. And reveal map. Coal planes. Anyway, what was I was gonna say a sacred hand of God actually costs a lot less strength to equip than a tier six hand of God. The strength requirement for a sacred hand of God is like I think it was like 496, I want to say. It's in the 490s as opposed to 800 plus. And, yeah. No reason I wouldn't go with that. If I can get it to attack reasonably fast, which... I'm going to look into some rune words for the hand of God. Or that I could use with one. But one thing I gotta look out, I gotta look out for some unique I or not unique items, but some sacred items now. 
Uh-uh. You're done. Also, I like that. Minor healing potions and tier one shit. That's pretty bad. Even in the context of the vanilla D2, that would be a horrible fucking drop. Yeah. There's no other way. Um, I'm gonna look for a sacred either Holy Lance or Tetsitipoli. I actually don't... The other Paladin Spear. Anyway, I'm gonna look for one of those, but preferably the Tepsitali. And make, and an Ath rune. And I'm not sure what I could use for Hand of God, if I was to go down the two-hand hammer route. But if I happen to find the Holy Melee Paladin set, or not all the items, but just that weapon, like, I'd be compelled to use that. I know the full set is a pretty awesome set. Even despite being nerfed, it's still pretty excellent. It's like, even with the, uh, the nerf, it do, it still gives minus 66% enemy poison resistance, and that stacks incredibly well with Plague. Plus, that actually allows us to wear... The items actually allow us to wear the Nephilim rune word, and, uh... I've used Nephilim with uh, Throwing Barb, and as you should know if you watch that playthrough, that was a pretty awesome pair of boots. Wait, what's that? Okay. Well, I did see a spear, but it's not the one I wanted to see drop. Like I said, Sacred, the sacred Paladin Spear, Sacred Ancient Armor, and Sacred Greaves. Those are what I'm looking for right now. Come on, bone grinders. And let's see. Waypoints and tree. And so, get out of here, tree. I am going to miss the celerity proc once I start farming for uh, either Emperian Band or Blood Bond, whatever I find first. I prefer Blood Bond, honestly. Just, number one, I've used Emperian Band so many times. Let's see. I've used Emperian Bands with every single build except for the Elemental Tree Warden. That's because it doesn't add spell damage. Literally every other build I think I've used Emperian Bands. I know I did with the Lazy Den. I know I did with the Melee Necro. I'm almost positive I ended up using it with uh, the Throwing Assassin. I know I used it with the Boazon. I know I used it with the Melee Sorceress. And I know I, I used it with the Throwing Barb. So I know I used it on at least five out of the seven builds I've completed so far. I would like to use something different for a change. Plus, Burning Veil is an amazing proc. I'm gonna actually see what, um... Let's see. What is the butcher's chance to hit me? Let's summon a hoplite or two. Forty-eight percent chance. I'm not a fan of that, but uh, fresh 
Uh, do you hoplites have like a high chance to dodge or something? Like, what the fuck? I shouldn't even be trying this, but, well, let's see if I can actually do it. Okay, I don't like the fact that uh, this fucker is not spawning his damn pentagram. Oh, fuck. I did- I killed him, but, uh... Yeah. I killed him, but, uh... I killed him after... After I died, so... I can't do the Trial of Fear. Well, that's proof that I can do it anyway. And it'll be especially good once I, uh... Once I get Erewhon and, uh, Nephilim. I don't know what else I could use. I used Whirlpool, but I don't think that would be good any for this build. So, let's see. Now it's time to either do the Countess Tower, if witches aren't there, or just move on to something else. For some reason, I think the witches are still there. I, for some reason, I imagine the witches are probably still there. For some reason, even though the mini game is removed, and so it wouldn't do me any good to actually go down there. I mean, I could still do it anyway, just just for the hell of it. But it's more trouble than it's worth, really. Because who would uh, who would do that now? I mean, if she could drop the Great Runes of Taroja or Fosdenville on destruction, this then, shall be of evil. then that would be an incentive to actually do it on destruction, but that would be pretty game-breaking, too, I feel. And am I, damn, I'm still level 71. And hi, pork chop. Oh wow, you didn't even get a chance to curse me. Yeah, I'm gonna. I still have to look for more, uh, more gems. I wish I wasn't paying attention to that. See if uh, I wasn't actually paying attention to that. See if any were dropping. But I do need to max my resistances. Once again, once I clear uh, Asmodan, that won't be as much of a problem. And are you dead? Yes. Okay, 525. One to Plague, two into Dragonheart. I do like my Flame Front on melee attack proc, but it's not the best thing in the world. Alrighty. Witches? Witches? Oh no! No, the witches are completely gone. Okay. That I... honestly don't know how to feel. I mean... I remember going in here the first time on Terror Difficulty in XVI with my Widowmaker, and I just saw those things thinking, ah, those are just decoration. But no, I, I got insta-killed by one of them. And I was like, what the fuck do I do? Because I couldn't even select them to target them. And I would say that's the first time I ever saw that. I know I've told this story before. I know for a fact that um, that's not true. First time was when I went into the Kingdom of Shadow with the same build, and and uh, it got immediately killed by the citizens of a uh, of a uh, Yure. 
Actually, why the fuck am I doing this? I'm just gonna warp out, which I should have done anyway. Oops, I did not mean to actually get her. Uh, yeah, Black Marsh. I would say I don't know how I'm gonna kill the uh, Claw Storm Terrors for the evil eye, but that's that's total nonsense. I know exactly how I'm going to. Coliseum and Divine Judgment. Because teleporting to any teleporting to something you don't like and smiting them with holy with holy powers and killing them instantly that's the way you solve all your problems in life at least if you are a holy paladin if not then you got to take another approach and it's not as awesome or as fulfilling <laughs> Obliterate them. Yeah, I still need mana leech, because Retaliate does still take a ton of mana away. Now there's a turquoise. I'll pick that up, I guess, because again, I need all my poison resist I need all my resistances maxed. one bit, unless there are some claw storms in here. I'm not going to specifically search for them here, because I can do that. I'm sure I'll find some while running the while running in the jail. Um, yeah, more strength, baby. And I'm going to need... I might be investing more dexterity here in a little bit. I do have... yeah. I was gonna say... I was gonna question if I had actually done this. Yeah, I should have farmed, uh... Hatred Caress 3000 for some jewels or gems until there are the Claw Storm Terrors. I knew I'd find some sooner or later. Anyway, I knew I should have farmed Caress 3000 for jewels or gems, I mean, because you can see I'm already down to half health and Act 2 is a hundred times worse. I'm still surprised people were bitching about the damage of the Corruptor Mages in the first version of, uh, one, of uh, 2017. Because, like, yeah, they do a shit ton of damage, but it's not like, uh, it's not like they weren't obscenely powerful in, uh, XVI. Alrighty. All right, come on. Ooh, another perfect bloodstone. Dun, 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 Hi there. Alright, so now it's time to run. Now it's still time to run along and uh, face the wrath of. Face the wrath of Heaven's Chosen One. All you motherfuckers are gonna die.
as soon as I was gonna say, as soon as your immunity shield's gone, you're dead. One mercenary is not actually that bad, but uh, for this build, I think it would be better if I went with something else. Okay, so two points into Dragonheart, and then I guess a point into. I I I'm still assuming leftovers into uh, leftovers into uh, retaliate because. If I SMAX focus on SMAXing retaliate, I'm not gonna have uh, I'm not gonna have enough points for Dragon Dragon Heart, and I prefer that be SMAX instead. Flight Fire. I don't know what your health is like, but Divine Judgment deals with you quick enough. Now, for all that now for all that I've mentioned about um, divine judgment being a bit overpowered, Voodoo Shot, aka Widowmaker, is still way way stronger in XVI. Oh my God, we actually heard the one line. Anyway, because like. That did just as much damage as, uh, um, that did just as much devastation to enemies as Divine Judgment, except it, it was like a full screen, full screen annihilation of everything. And I don't think I could find Sacreds yet, but I will keep my eye out on it. Alright, so that's good. And Dragonheart is S maxed. Very good. I have a feeling that once I get Erewhon, I'll probably end up having at least 130,000 defense. I plan to get it in a sacred ancient armor, just like I did with the, the Barbarian. The Throwing Barbarian. Because, you know, more crushing blow. Well, I'm not going over the list of attributes. I used it in the last character. And even the character before that, honestly. But, the point is, I've used it a few times before. And I used it with the melee necro. The point is, I'm not going to go over what that does. You can look that up online if you don't know. But, just... If you look at its stats, you'll you'll agree that that Erewhon is by far the best choice right now. But once I, if I could ever farm Tengazi, aka the un, the new new unformed lands, then I might change my mind and make a Hellfire plate instead. Maybe. Hey, and Ariel. Motherfuckers, I don't want you interrupting my one line of dialogue, so you be quiet. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to run her three times. And we are good. And yeah, that'll be fine. I could very easily end the segment, but... And, but I may as well kill Radiment. Shouldn't take too long. All the way over here. And is Elzix... Okay. I never actually said this, but I'm glad that they did restore um, Luke Galane to the way it used to be in the vanilla D2, because honestly, I, I didn't care much for the XVI 
version of Luke Galane. Oh. I talked to Atma, got the quest, and for some reason thought I revealed the map. That is so stupid. That was stupid of me. And if this was XVI, I would be salivating over this map layout because look how close the stony field or the stony tomb is to the entrance of Luke Galane. I would not have to proceed far in which country, but that is of course a moot point in this version because witches no longer exist there. Apparently they don't exist anywhere in the game apart from the world nexus. But I will test that. I'm gonna see what uh, dark summoning in the. I'm gonna see what dark summoning in the old, uh, in the old abandoned or forgotten tower does now. Because obviously that used to be where to summon, uh, um, summon legacy of the legacy of blood quest. Or brandy stock. Wait, why can't? Okay, I thought I picked that up. Whatever. Shit, I got a. Ton. Holy shit, I got a ton of reanimates. I definitely did not expect to have this many reanimates. There is absolutely no nothing I want there. Dull rune. Don't care about that at all, of course. It oh, 82,000 already. I forgot that going from act to act uh, usually disables buffs. Let's see. Yeah, incarnation. 37% already. That's pretty good. Especially with the in recent buff to, uh, especially with the recent buff to, uh, Life Leech, and wolves, you, wolves have no chance against me. You had no chance against me in Hatred when I had no tier uniques. You have even less of a chance of survival now, motherfuckers. Go away. Get out of here. Actually, I could just divine... No, screw that. I want retaliate. God, imagine if I had some life and mana after kill. That would be excellent. Okay, why the hell doesn't that work sometimes? Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah. Unfortunately, them's... Them, uh... Them Dark Templars don't exactly have the best, uh, lifespan. Not that it really matters, but still. Pack, you get out of here. Oh, pardon me. I don't know if you could hurt that, but I just belched a little bit. Yeah, you guys are gonna get wrecked. Perfect Onyx, I need that. And Mercenary uses Pagan Rites. I never realized how great Pagan Rites was until I used my first ever... my first Druid. And that it wasn't, and my first druid was not uh, the elemental tree warden that I did for the channel. And out of this map layout, the only thing that makes sense is for him to be up here. Yep, there he is. Hi. And Divine Judgment. I swear, I could just use Divine Judgment on like every single thing in the game. It's pretty amazing. I 
and Arcane Crystal. I'm still gonna pick up uh, tier uniques and recycle them. Because I do still, because I do want to hopefully get Emperor and Bands or or um, the thing early, Blood Bond early. But I don't plan to specifically farm for that until Act 4 on Terror, when I defeat Izawal. Since, by that point, since he'll drop the, uh, the Catalyst of Learning, and he'll give me... And, and I can just, you know, easily recycle unwanted rings and amulets. Um, I honestly don't know what amulet to use, if, if any. Or if any uniques. I mean, the best choice, of course, would probably be, uh, Athelas Oracle. Where are you? Where are you, sons of bitches? I could try Tranathala, but number one, I'm not really confident in my ability to do that, and second of all, there is absolutely no reason for me to waste my time trying that shit when I could just as easily go back to it. And more... Of course the waypoint has to be away from everything else. Goodbye. Just knock him down. Knock him down. And yep. One problem I do see having, and plague will offset this a bit, is that, and the problem is, is that I don't exactly have the best strategy for dealing with physical immunes, which will be a problem once I hit Faustinville. Unless Plague's damage is so high that that alone is enough to kill the Necrobots, which I don't know if it is. I mean, I could... Once again, I could test that now, but I'm not going to, because I have not hit level 120 yet, and I have not done all the ubers I care to. Also, that was stupid of me. I ran right into the Witch Punisher, I think is what it's officially called. And Far Oasis. Now, normally I would go through the Maggot Lair, but this segment's already about 45 minutes as it is. And literally nobody wants to see me do that again, I don't think. I don't think anyone will really mind if I cut ahead here, so... I will see you guys close to the end of Act 2, actually. I'll probably be in the Arcane Sanctuary.